In today's demo, we are going to cover using string functions in SQL Server 2008. Uh, this video is being brought to you by LearningSQLServer2008.com. So let's jump right into it. Um, as far as part one, I'm going to start with some basic functions. There are a lot of different functions uh, regarding strings. We are not going to cover all of them. Instead, we will just focus on some of them. And so the first one I have here is len. This one is basically used to return the length of a string. And the syntax is essentially you write the function and then you pass the string, which can also be uh, a field in a table. So for our purpose today, we are going to use the company name field in customers table. Um, for today, uh, today's lesson, we are going to be using a sample database from uh, Microsoft. It is Northwind database, which used to ship with uh, SQL Server 2000. Uh, however, in the new versions, they, they have it as AdventureWorks database. But I have decided to use the old one just because it's got a simpler schema and uh, we have lots of opportunity to use different functions. So let's keep going down the list here and after this is done, uh, we will essentially switch to the um, demo mode and then we can show you these one at a time. So the next function is left. Uh, this SQL function returns the number of characters from a string starting from the left position. So for example, uh, using the product name, um, we could use the left function. In this example, it's only going to return the first two characters uh, from the products table. The next one is right. Uh, this is opposite of left. In this function, it returns the number of characters uh, from the string from the right position. So uh, for this one, we are using uh, the field phone from customers. And what it's going to do is essentially going to return uh, the rightmost four characters of the phone number. The next one is lower, which should be uh, pretty simple to understand. It really converts the string you have to a lowercase alphabet. So the example I'm using here is uh, this string, which is cash, and I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a lower case. And the other one, uh, which is opposite of lower, is upper, which really converts the string to an uppercase alphabet. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm actually just going to uh, copy this one and then switch over to my management studio. I have not logged into yet, um, and I'm going to do that. We are using SQL Server 2008 for our demos today, and we are using a default instance, which I'm running locally on my machine. After uh, the Object Explorer shows our server, I'm going to go ahead and expand the Northwind database, and first uh, I will show you uh, essentially the table structure before I go down uh, the list. It's taking a little bit uh, longer to get going on this uh, server, but it should be showing up here shortly. So if you go to the database tab, I go to the north wind and then go down to tables. Uh, let me just look at customer customers table real quick and you can just go to design which will essentially list all the field names and their data types and whatnot. So the customers table will have information like uh, customer ID, their name, um, address information, city, state, whatnot. So um, that is the structure. I'm going to click on new query and essentially paste what I had from the other. So for example, when I do len, I can uh, go ahead and put the expression in brackets and then I'm just saying that I need to get this information from the customer's table. I'm actually going to go ahead and select this and uh, capitalize this, which is not necessary, but uh, just to sort of remain consistent. So let's go ahead and execute this one. And 
apparently in doesn't work I'm sorry I should be using the from clause which as you remember is going to return the data from that table so here you go so now just to make sure that we have the right information according to this one the first uh, record or customer should have 19 characters and I'm just going to go ahead and verify this uh, real quickly so that uh, looks like it's about 19 let's go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah so that's 19 and that does include the space also so let me just uh, when you when you start something with a with two dashes it basically means that you are starting a comment so that was our len function the next one is uh, left for this one I'm just going to copy this code from this left if you'll remember is going to return the first two characters from the product name so I should be able to go ahead and execute this one and I'm just going to go ahead and just above these I'm actually going to just uh, do the field so we can uh, look at the field also so it looks like the first one is Alice Martin uh, we got some syrup Boston crab meat so for the first one it should be A L A N B O so let me go ahead and run this one more time so that looks about right after left we are going to do right and let me go back here and for this one uh, like I mentioned earlier we are going to get the data from the phone column in customers table and again uh, before I do this by the way if, if you're if you don't realize you can uh, in, in the management studio you can just highlight the piece of code that you want to run and then I'm actually hitting F5 to execute it you can also go up here and do this also and another thing you can do is you can run two queries at the same time so I'm going to just go ahead and execute this which if I move it up a little bit we can see both these uh, tabs at the same time so here's our first number and it's giving us the rightmost character which is 4321 4729 and we can keep going down the list notice here interestingly we have a space which is a valid character so it's going to give us four space six five which is this one so so far so good I believe the next one is upper let us find out and in this example what I've done is I've actually selected my name cash uh, that I want to uh, Actually, I'm sorry, this, the first one is lower. So let me do that. But uh, what I was saying is that I've selected to pass a string. You could have obviously done this on any of these fields. In fact, we can try one of these. So let me just uh, copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and say select lower. and you'll notice as you're doing this it gives you a little bit of uh, IntelliSense and, uh, and this is what I'm talking about so this is also new in 2008 which uh, which is going to be a great time saver here are the tables listed and if you just hit tab it's going to go ahead and populate that I'm actually going to go ahead and make these also uh, upper caps so here if I run these um, together it's going to convert